you to Thought I'll Have It Here, man. I'm Alpha. I'm Jason. And we back with another video, man. So today, man, we bringing to y'all, a lot of y'all be wondering, man, how do I fix high RPM lockout in my MT82 equipped Mustang? We are gonna give y'all the recipe on how to fix that. It may not completely take care of it, but at least to minimize it as much as possible. So we are gonna go through the whole list of parts that you are gonna need. That way you can get your car shifting better. All right, so around two years ago when we was taking this car to PBIR, um, we was having some racing difficulties uh, when we had took this car on the back street to Mexico. So when we was racing, uh, the car was doing pretty good until we tried to shift gears, sh <laughs> shift in third, you know. When we was shifting it at high RPMs, it just didn't want it to go in gear. So we knew what the problem was while it wasn't going to gear, but we already had the, um, the parts to get the problem fixed. Cut um, to the parts real quick on the screen. So we're just going to cut to the parts right quick. So the clutch wore it out prematurely because Jason here shift the car like a goddamn barbarian. So we're gonna take you guys along to see exactly what we did, you know? So, first order of business, clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Most important thing you can do to get one of these stick cars to grab, bro. I cannot stress that enough. You need a clutch so you have a proper clamping load so that way the clutch ain't slipping. When you bang it in gear, it's gonna grab. That's like number one most important thing. This car has an XZ Mach 500 stage three clutch. Um, and of course, you're doing a clutch, so you might as well do a flywheel. Don't put in, don't resurface the old flywheel. Don't put in a stock weight flywheel. You might as well go to a lightweight flywheel. That way you can, it'll be a little more peppy, you know, when you're driving around town and stuff like that. You make it a little bit of chatter um, on a lightweight fl uh, flywheel, but realistically, it's not that serious. But clutch is the most important thing, man. I, I don't know, I can't stress that to y'all enough. Clutch, we're going to end up taking this one out and going with a um, Mantic. Uh, twin disc when we start adding more power but this clutch is plenty enough for anybody who has an na car i think it's rated for like 500 wheel torque or something like that so you na you're not gonna make that much these coyotes aren't super torquey so clutch that's number one clutch and flywheel okay now second order of business is going to be a short throw shifter now this is a barton hybrid three all right now the reason why this is called a barton hybrid three because you can either mount this to the transmission or to the actual body. Now, this one right here is actually mounted to the transmission and uh, you can also adjust the tension inside this as well, which is actually tops. Now, that's what you want in a sport drill shifter. All right, so this button right here has a 25% throw reduction over stock. There's other companies on the market that offer short throw shifters such as MGW, they offer multiple shifter options. Barton actually has a drop-in cartridge so you don't have to change the shifter mount. Well, any short throw shifter upgrade from stock is gonna be night and day different. So make sure you guys put that on your mod list. All right, so next y'all gonna follow us under the hood and we got the next order of business, which is gonna be two hoses under here in particular. This is a stainless steel braided clutch line. Multiple companies make this. This particular one is from a cloud, but the reason you're gonna want this is because when you're in track conditions and you know, things heat up this stock is a plastic hose on the stock so you don't want to be on the track and it gets hot and it starts expanding you start getting clutch pedal uh, fatigue and fade and your clutch isn't really feeling how it's supposed to this will alleviate that from happening because it's braided stainless steel and it has a teflon hose inside so it keeps your pedal feel constant that way you don't have to worry about you know like i said fatigue and it's gonna just give you steady clutch feel now over here this is a uh, clutch supply line so what this does is this runs from the brake master giving fluid to your clutch master and then um you know that supplies it to the braided stainless steel line on the other on the outside so this line right here gets fluid from your brake master and sends it into your clutch master this has been uh prone to failure from what Stita says and they're a very reputable source so i haven't really seen any of them per se fail um but i don't want to take the chance this is like a 20 or 30 dollar hose 
and this one is uh, chemical resistant and make sure you get a, a better seal than what the stock one does because they say it wears out over time now uh, whether you choose to do that I don't see why you wouldn't because if you're already doing all this stuff at one time you might as well like I said it's 20 30 bucks and that's a peace of mind that you don't have to worry about on track one day just losing all clutch pedal feel because you know your line busted this also prevents air from getting in your system because sometimes the stock lines don't seal up properly and it allow air to go into your clutch system, which will then, you know, cause issues. So this will prevent that. All right, speaking on transmission bushing, um, we went with white line, but you can go with Steeda or other brands, but we chose white line. So basically what it is, is a polymer insert, which goes into the, the stock transmission mount, which stops moving between shifts, which allows you to get in gear a lot easier. Now, it will add noise and vibration, but we highly recommend it if you really want those crisp shifts. Now, it's a cheap mod. Now, we've seen other people on YouTube drill holes in it. Now, do what you want, but we highly recommend this application. All right. So we are back under the engine bay, and a very common thing I see mislooked on these cars when people are trying to get rid of high RPM lockout problems. Transmission fluid, brake fluid, brake slash clutch fluid, same thing. So, first of all, we'll start with the transmission fluid. In this car in particular, it has BG Cinco Shift 2 um, for the MC82, and it, night and day, made the tranny shift a lot smoother. Um, I just can't really recommend it enough. I mean, Ben Calamar has some stuff too that he puts in there, just the concoction compared to stock, it's just night and day with the, the filling and the transmission feels a little smoother with it, you know, so that there's that. Um, then with this, we upgraded to uh, Motul RBF 600.4 uh, racing brake fluid. Now you may ask, why the fuck do I need that? That's a great fucking question. So as you're on track, you're driving the car hard and the clutch fluid slash brake fluid starts to heat up. Because if you don't know, your clutch and brake fluid is pulled from this reservoir. This is your brake master. Um, as it heats up, they don't work as well, right? So the RBF 600.4 has a higher um, boiling point, so it can withstand a lot more extreme pressures. So if you're on a track, you don't have to worry about brake fade as much, clutch fade as much. If your brakes are fading, most likely your clutch is gonna be fading too, because it comes from the exact same fluid reservoir. So just keep that in mind when you're building this stuff. If you're gonna be taking the tranny out to do a clutch, you might as well drain the fluid in that, and you might as well just flush out the clutch and brake fluid and just, you know, put it on new stuff. That way you can have smoother shifting and, you know, yeah. Other ways to fix this issue is by upgrading to a built transmission like the one from Ben Calamer or upgrading to a T56 swap. So it's easier to go with the built trans because you can keep all the stuff from your stock trans and you'll have to source or buy other extra parts compared to a swap into a T56. So a quick bonus for y'all. Um, there is this clutch spring that is on every stick car and the stock one is 185 pounds. So it assists you in pushing the clutch and that kind of takes feel away from the clutch. So if you switch to this one, like this one from Steeda, which is a 35 pound spring and their perch, which is Delrin is way stronger than the stock perch. You'll have much better clutch feel. So it won't necessarily help with your uh, MT82 issues, but it'll definitely make the clutch pedal feel a lot better. And you use the clutch every time you shift gear. So, you know, better clutch feel, better shifting in general, but it won't necessarily fix the problems. But this is a nice additional piece to put on. Um, I highly recommend it. It's not too expensive compared to other mods on the list and it'll definitely improve the feeling of your shifting. We'll pop a picture on the screen uh, if I find the old one, but yeah. The stock one is really just a lot thicker and a lot worse to use. All right, man, that's gonna end it for this video. And if you guys liking it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and look out for our next video. Also, look us up on Instagram at throttle underscore havoc where we post news, updates on next time we're going to post. Also, what's coming next for you guys. So hopefully this helps y'all. If y'all having that issue, this will help you kind of guide to what you need to get. You know what I'm saying? There's endless options as to what you can do with it, but at least this can guide you in the right direction. So without that being said, man, we up.